and he'll waste a little bit of punches. He's all over Paolo, but you can see, not like his teammates on the Olympic team where he's calm enough yet to place his punches. You know, he hasn't learned that yet. He will as he fights. Uh, I'm sorry, that, that was, what was that replay? That was fast slow-mo. Um, <laughs> it's a little sophisticated. Fast slow-mo? Yes, yeah, that's, that's what our guys, the best guys in the world in the truck told me. It's fast slow -mo. A little sophisticated, <laughs> but it works. What's that like? Smooth sandpaper? Yeah, what, uh, yeah I'm going to explain it to you later. Okay. I mean, it's, it's something that That's you a new one. Take time to learn that. Round three, Yadel Johnson dominating Justin Pavo, Olympic silver medalist, part of this class of Cubans that found freedom within the past year and has been coming up through the ranks. This is the second fight of Johnson's career. Friday night fights here in Vegas at Planet Hollywood. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. And still to come tonight, we have two feature attractions you'll want to see, including the main event, Brady Prescott, undefeated power puncher against a very live underdog in Miguel Vasquez. Plus, the Cuban that it seems everybody in the boxing business is talking about, and that is Arislandi Lara, 6-0 with four knockouts. He will be up next after this fight. You know, Joe, sometimes being a fighter is like trying to become a good chef. When you first start cooking, you're first learning, you throw everything in there. You know, you, you probably put too many things into the pot. You know, a little extra carrots, extra potatoes, a little extra oregano, maybe a little too much salt. And for the most part, that's what Johnson did the first couple rounds. You know, he was trying to put everything into the pot. And you can see now he's trying to settle down a little bit and pick the right thing, like a left hand to the body, a little step out, create a counter. And that's what happens when a fighter starts to mature. And that's what you look to have happen, where a fighter becomes more productive, more efficient. And as I say quite often, he sees more. He sees more opportunities, and instead of just throwing, he knows when to throw. And I think Johnson, right now, I, I kind of feel that even now, only in the third round of his second pro fight, he's starting to feel that. He's starting to talk to himself a little bit and say, okay, settle down now, be more of a pro. Don't be just a fighter, but start to be more of a pro. Be a prospect. Be a guy who figures it out. Guy who picks the right spots. Developing as the fight itself continues, and he will have one more round to do so. Stay with us. More to come. <laughs> 